Hey, what's up guys? Uh, back again. And for this video, it's going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to be doing a more in-depth review and uh, also show some of the gameplay for the free download application called Tap Tap Revenge. So uh, yeah, let's start this one up. So here it is, Tap Tap Revenge. Uh, the cool thing about Tap Tap Revenge is that not only is it a free download from the App Store, which is a great deal, obviously, but uh, it comes with so much content packed into a free download. Um, it only comes with like five or six tracks at first, which at first I thought was kind of lame. I didn't know that you could download more tracks. But up here I noticed one day that it says new, and I clicked it, and then I realized that you can download for free the song to play on the game Tap Tap Revenge, or you can even go with the option to download it on iTunes. So if you go back, you can also do download more tracks, and if you go under this, you can go search by the level mode, easy, medium, hard, extreme, and you can download uh, tracks that have been previously released to update with. Uh, I've already downloaded them all, so none of them will be here for me. But yeah, once I did this, now I have about 30 or 35 tracks that I can play on this, and it is all free, which I thought was a tremendously great deal. So uh, another cool thing about this game is that you can do one player where the... Um, the beats will come down just for yourself, or you can even do two-player, and I'll show you two-player really quick. I'm going to be playing by myself, but I'll just show you how it actually works. So let's go into two-player. We'll do an easy track just to show you, and then we'll just pick this one. It's a random one. But yeah, so for two-player, this will be one person's, and then the other person will stand on the other side of the iPod or sit however you're playing. I don't really care. And they will get to be able to play from over here. So they have these bars, and we have these. So if I turn it around you can see that there's another second players that can play with you. So I guess you guys are pretty much competing, which I thought was a pretty cool feature, especially on a free application. So let's quit out of this. I just wanted to show you that really quick. Cool, we won, they lost. <laughs> um, yeah, so then you can go under one player, and for one player you can do any tracks that you really want to. Let's try an easy track just to show you the gameplay and I'll explain it basically. Cool, so here's the gameplay. Uh, it's a pretty good gameplay actually. It's really just basically Guitar Hero, but you have touching and there's also only three chords to play. Um, for a free download, I would definitely, it takes just a couple seconds to download it, so there's really no harm in doing so. Um, there is basically no lag whatsoever when the notes fly over the fret down here. I, I don't know what this is, I'm assuming it's a fret like a guitar, but it seems like we're in outer space. But yeah, there's no lag and it also gives a lot of uh, freedom, so say if I hit a little bit early, I still get the points, or I can hit a little bit late and still get it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and as you just saw, I got a certain amount of notes in a row. Here's my streak up here, the little 32. Oh, sorry, I paused it. That's my streak, and if you get a certain number of notes in a row, then you will get a two times, four times, and eventually an eight times multiplier, or multiplier just like Guitar Hero, so you'll be able to boost your score really high up. So yeah, that's some of the gameplay on the easy. There's a four times right there. So right now I'm going to quit. I'm going to try and quit. How the hell do I quit? Okay, there we go, sorry. Let's get out of this, and I will now show you an extreme track. And, uh, I mean, for a free download, you think that it would be kind of easier, just be pretty simple. But, uh, I'm not kidding, some of these extreme tracks can get to be pretty tough. So, let's just do this one. Now, sorry, I am at a pretty tough angle to play this at, so it's going to be kind of hard. The cool thing about it is that, uh, yeah, it's free, but, uh, for a free application, this isn't really a joke at all. Yeah, I can't play this to this angle, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, there's so much happening on the screen at once and you're touching everywhere and whatnot, which I guess kind of sounds pretty weird, sorry about that. But um, yeah, I think that it's a great download, especially for free, so I would definitely just actually download it right now if you can. Sorry, we're going to quit. I can't do this right now from this angle. Um, yeah, so that's a great download, I would definitely say. Uh, what are some other options that you can do? Uh, here's a tutorial that you can do. Uh, we're going to actually go through another extreme track, and I'm going to try and show you. I think it's in one of these. Um, see if it's in this. How the hell do Okay, so one second. We're going to leave this one paused. Um, in this game, as you can see, there's blue, green, and red, and there's notes that will come over the frets. But also during the gameplay, there are sometimes arrows that will point. So the arrow will be right, it'll be left, or it'll be up and down. And for the right arrows, instead of tapping anywhere, you shake to the right, you shake to the left, or you shake up and down. So that also adds some fun to the gameplay, and uh, it keeps it going, so it's not always the exact same thing, just hitting notes. Uh, so I'm assuming that there's going to be arrows in this song. There usually are in the extreme tracks, but... We're going to try and find one. If not, then I'm just going to edit this video and I'm just going to go to the arrow part. I'm 
Sorry, I cannot see from this angle at all. Okay, sorry about this one, guys. Uh, we're not finding any arrows. Uh, I don't know what songs are in there in some of them. But, yeah, that's just a little heads up on some of the gameplay for uh, Tap Tap Revenge. Let's see if there's anything else I can really show you guys right now. So we've gone through the that there's new updates constantly. There's one-player mode. There's two-player mode. Download the tracks that have been previously released. Let's go under options and see what's in there. Tapulous profile. What in God's name is that? I don't know. I guess that's maybe if you update, if you upload your score. Uh, arrows on. Cool. I'm going to turn arrows off because I hate them. But I guess you have the option to now turn arrows on and off. I never noticed that. Uh, you can delete the downloaded track so it goes back to the normal mode when you first download it. I don't know why you do that. Or music volume. Let's see the music volume. Cool. I guess that's pretty much just like what's on your iPod. But anyway, so yeah, um, I, I don't know. I tried to answer everything you could pretty much answer with the game Tap Tap Revenge. Um, one player, two player, download more tracks. New tracks constantly uploaded. Um, there's no lag when you're hitting against the fret bar at the bottom like that. It's great. It gives a lot of freedom. It's a really fun game, especially for, such a, for, for a free download. So I would definitely recommend going out and downloading this right now.